So Wells Fargo is soon releasing the Wells Fargo Autograph credit card. Is it revolutionary? No. Is it a solid credit card that can provide value to most people? Yes. This card is slated for a mid-July release and it's gonna deliver a strong welcome bonus with 3x points on popular spend categories. So let's get into whether this is a good credit card choice for you. So whenever we talk about Wells Fargo, it's difficult to forget about the controversy back in 2016, but I'm gonna do my best to look at this credit card through a purely objective lens. Now, the autograph credit card is very similar to one of Wells Fargo's past offerings, the Wells Fargo Propel card. Wells Fargo actually stopped accepting applications for that card back in April 2021, and here we are with what's essentially a fancy new revamped version of that card. And if you do currently have the Propel card, you will be able to product change into the Autograph card if you choose to do so. However, doing this is gonna cause you to miss out on the signup bonus, so it's not something I'd recommend. The Wells Fargo Autograph will be a Visa signature card with no annual fee and no foreign transaction fees. All right, we're getting off to a good start. This card is also gonna get you unlimited 3X points on the following categories. By the way, one Wells Fargo rewards point will typically get you one cent per point, so 3X can basically be used interchangeably with 3%. So this card's 3X categories include restaurants, gas stations, travel and transit, popular streaming services, and select cell phone plans. Everything else will get you $1 per point. Right off the bat, we can see this card offers quite a wide range of 3X categories that apply to pretty much everyone. The one major thing I see this card missing is increased points for grocery store purchases. But I am gonna talk about a couple credit cards that'll pair nicely with the autograph card a bit later in the video. And if you like free money, go ahead and click that subscribe button. So Wells Fargo said they specifically made the rewards on this card simple. It's a flat 3X points reward system System on various categories with an easy to understand redemption system. And honestly, that's great because believe it or not, not everyone wants to spend the time and energy trying to come up with a multi-card strategy that perfectly fits their spending behavior. This card is aimed at the consumer who wants a card that maybe they can use in addition to their 2% flat rate cashback card, but doesn't want five credit cards in their wallet. The autographs rewards categories are fairly self-explanatory, but it's important to know exactly what the verbiage from Wells Fargo means. For example, what's deemed a popular streaming service? I'm assuming this is gonna cover most of the mainstream services like Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, and so on. Also, what exactly does travel and transit mean? It'll depend how Wells Fargo codes purchases, but I'd assume travel and transit would encompass things like tolls, taxis, ride shares, flights, mass transit, hotels, and services like Airbnb. But one of the best parts of this card is that the 3X points are unlimited. Now, to get an idea of how much rewards value you can expect with this card, Card, let's go over an example. In my house, we spend around $75 per month at restaurants, $250 per month on gas and tolls, $20 per month on streaming services, and $135 per month on our cell phone bill. Travel is a bit more complex and varies significantly each year, but let's say we spend $4,000 per year. Add it up, that comes out to about $9,760 for the year. 3% of that would come out to just shy of $300 in rewards for the year, or about $25 per month. That's really not a bad deal especially for how simple this card is. But let's talk about redemption. Now, these are the redemption options I like to see. You'll be able to redeem your points for travel, cashback, statement credits, gift cards, or other merchandise. I don't know about you, but I always pick the cashback or statement credit option if it's given to me. But of course, I make sure these options give me the highest value per point. With that said, we'll likely see the cashback and statement credit redemption options come in right at one cent per point valuation, but we'll see once all the details of the card have been made available. It has been said that gift cards or buying merchandise with your points may be lower than one cent per point. If this is the case, you'd certainly want to avoid these options. Plus, redeeming for a statement credit or cash back allows you to double dip, simply meaning you can then use the cash you got from your rewards on expenses that will then get you additional rewards. For a no annual fee card, the sign up bonus Wells Fargo's offering is quite appealing. New card holders are gonna get 30,000 bonus points when they spend $1,500 in purchases within the first three months of opening an account. At the one cent per point cash back value, this is simply gonna be $300 worth of points. And it's important to be aware that the $1,500 to qualify for the bonus must be on new purchases and not balance transfers. To put this $300 signup bonus into perspective, it would otherwise take $10,000 in spend at the 3% cash back rate in order to get that much cash back. So that right there goes to show you really how valuable this signup bonus is. So to those who currently have the Propel card, you'll likely miss out on the signup bonus if you decide to product change into the autograph card. You'd make out better by simply opening a new autograph card, 
assuming you're okay with juggling the two cards. Wells Fargo did state that Propel card holders are not going to be automatically switched to the new Autograph card, which in my opinion is a good thing. And on top of the $300 sign up bonus, Wells Fargo is also offering a 0% intro APR on purchases for the first 12 months from account opening. Since the Wells Fargo Autograph card is a Visa signature card, there's going to be a few additional benefits that come along with this. Cell phone protection is certainly one of the standout perks here, especially since this card offers 3x points on most cell phone bills. Now, in order to qualify for this perk, you will have to pay your cell phone bill with this card. So if your phone is damaged or stolen, you'll be eligible to get up to $600 per claim minus a $25 deductible. And this will cover either the repair or the replacement of your phone. You'll also find retail perks that are going to be offered through My Wells Fargo Deals, which is fairly common for credit cards to offer. You'll be incentivized to shop at certain retailers for additional rewards that'll come in the form of cash back as a statement credit. Another perk is the included auto rental collision damage waiver. This is going to get you secondary auto coverage when you're renting a car within the United States and primary coverage when you're renting a car outside of the United States. But in order to get a good grasp on whether this card is competitive or what we should pair it with, we need to look at what the other credit card companies are offering. Let's start with the Capital One Saver One Rewards. To give you a high level overview, this card gets you unlimited 3% cash back on dining, entertainment, popular streaming services, and grocery stores. And this card is currently offering a $200 sign up bonus. The Saver One Rewards also has no annual fee and no foreign transaction fees. This could be a nice card to pair with the Autograph card because while some of the categories overlap, it adds unlimited grocery store and entertainment rewards. Since these two expense categories can be a significant portion of your budget, the Saver one rewards and autograph can make for a nice two card setup. Plus you get the added benefit of being able to get that 3% cash back worldwide since both cards have no foreign transaction fees. The Amex Blue Cash Preferred could also be a nice alternative or even a nice pairing with the autograph card. It does have a $95 annual fee, but it also adds 6% cash back on groceries and streaming. There is a $6,000 annual cap on the combined 6% categories, but I found if you spend at least $3,200 per year at the grocery store, the effective cash back rate for this card minus the annual fee rises above 3%. However, the Blue Cash Preferred and Autograph do overlap when it comes to their 3% back on transit and gas. Currently, the Blue Cash Preferred is offering a $400 sign up bonus and I have an entire video on this card if you're interested. And another awesome credit card that would pair perfectly with the Autograph is the City Custom Cash card. This card offers 5% back on your highest eligible spend category up to $500 in spend each month. It currently has a $200 sign up bonus and no annual fee. In my opinion, this would pair great with the Autograph card as you'd be able to use the custom cash for groceries and your autograph card for all the 3x categories that it offers. This next video covers common credit misconceptions that you really should know. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.